Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode. So today, well, first things first, let's go ahead and go through what we need to do to get our pick upgraded to um, iron. Because, you know, it'll make mining so much easier. Granted, it'll be more expensive to repair our pick, but, you know, you get tons of iron. Remember, in the hardcore series, we just had bunch of leftover. So now what I can do is I can come over here and in the parts builder I need the pickaxe head. In fact I might as well make a pattern chest already. and Because I can attach that and access it from you know the other stuff and it'll be so much more convenient. Pattern chest. You just go back there. Yes, I don't have a tool station. And now I can access the pattern chest. I can take this and put it in there. And it'll appear here. And actually, now I believe I can just put all of my patterns in there. Ooh, that's cool. And now I can just select whichever pattern I want. Super convenient. Voila. We're good. Um, will the cobblestone stairs work? No. I'm not that lucky. Well, I guess I have actual cobblestone, so. We can make a co stone pickaxe head. Yay! Yay! Put it there. We got clay on the bottom. Put it in there. We'll also set more iron to smelt. Well, let's pull. Let's only smelt that much more. I don't need to have a ton in there, but we can now put iron on the bottom and put it in. Now, what do I need for a tool station? Ah. Okay, there we go. Oh, forge. It's tool forge. Whatever. Same difference, right? Tool forge with a block of iron. Oh. Yeah, I don't think we're going to bother with that quite yet. Okay. We have our iron pickaxe head. We can replace it. And then we can just use iron to repair it now. Of course, i got to use the last piece of flint to fully repair it so I can swap it out. And just like that, mining level of diamond. I'm quite... I do want to check here real quick. I just swap back here. Modifiers, haste, luck, sharpness, um, blah, 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 effects, extra durability, minor stat increase, mining level increased by one. So I need to put a diamond on this thing to actually up it. Mmm. That's sad. And that's the only thing I, like, ever need a diamond for. Tool related. Because after that, like, I'm going straight to cobalt and stuff. So, yeah. That's the only thing I should ever need a diamond for in this world. I do wonder how much heads I should set a diamond to in trading. Like, five million? Now, it would probably be, like, a stack of heads or something crazy like that. It It'll probably, honestly, be easier to get my hands on actually mining. Okay, now, what else do we want to do? So we got that done. We actually have an iron pickaxe now, which is totally sick. I don't want to check to see how fast it mines. Like, this is just kind of, ooh, I want to know. I got to know. And then, um, I guess we can go explore the cave a bit. Whoa. This has not happened to me before. Besides when, you know, loading new chunks. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, that's like a million times better. I'm very happy. Okay, well, I have an iron pickaxe head. All is well in the world. So, um, where have I not explored in this cave? That is the question. 
Like, it, I might not actually be able to cave in this one because I think I might have already explored the whole thing. I think. Um, yeah, because this leads to a dead end. This is where I got all the gravel from. There's a chance that th at the end of the gravel there's more cave, but I find it unlikely. Okay. Now, what else do we need to do or find? Down here, this is just water. I've already seen this place. Bam. Yes, I know, I'm being wasteful with my stairs. Okay, um, torch, come here. And I could use gravel. I have cobblestone now, so we'll just whip. Perfect. So it turns out that I did not have more cave to explore. That's too bad. Nick, when I act, when I find a legit cave, we'll have to explore it together. I'll have to do it on video because you know that's it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but it's pretty cool. Okay, so now this pathway. I do think that we should extend it out more. I need... To, how much cobblestone do I have? I have some more of that type of cobblestone. Let me see here. Where's my chisel? My chisel's almost gone. Okay, anyway. We need to turn this into Zag for me to do properly. Where was Zag, speaking of that? There it is. Bam. And 32. It's something. And we will lead this up to here. Eventually, we'll probably try and take it back to our house. But for the moment, we will lead it up to this point. Now, I do need some reason to actually adventure at some point. I'm going to have to move you to finish this aren't I there's no way yeah that's what I thought I don't think I can move you without the NPC wand which I am like 99% sure are creative items so you know oh well I'll get around to it someday another thing that I kind of want to do is throw more cobblestone in here Ah, I can't do it with stairs and turn it into seared blocks to increase the sizes of this, but that's not a big deal. Um, is there anything we need for monsters? I don't think so. I'll probably just sleep through the night. You know, it's funny, in the last video I had so much stuff I wanted to do and needed to get done, and now I'm just like, I've done all my stuff. I don't know what to do. It's daytime, but it's still raining. I cry. Oh, nope, it's done. Scratch that. Um, we do need to get a better food source, slash expand our food source, known as wheat, but, you know, getting seeds is hard. And by that, I mean you have to punch so much grass. It's crazy. It's redonkulous. Yeah, so, um, maybe we'll just check out what's this way away. Um, I could also go that way. I'm probably more interested in what's that. So I'm kind of like, if I explore too far, then we can't add any mods which will actually add ores. So I think what I'll say is we won't move that way because the mine moves that way. And, you know, it'll take a while to find new ores if we add them, but that way it's possible. And I'm going to need to get my hands on a hammer, like, as soon as we hit y12 or whatever okay that took some damage Ooh, it's a cave that's too bad i'm not going to bother exploring that said cave um there's a lot of cave i'm kind of surprised it would be cool if we ran into a village i don't know if i've ever found a village in amplified because as i mentioned i only had one amplified world that actually lasted for any period of time I found a Mesa biome, which is really cool and amplified. Or at least I thought it was at the time. It's a while ago. I don't remember too much about it, but I, I seem to remember that the Mesa biome in Amplified is sick. Ooh, mushrooms, but, you know, there's only one type of mushroom. Okay. 
Shoop. Wow, this appears. Oh, there's water. <gasps> it's a meteorite. What mod adds meteorites? Is it applied energistics? Wait, sky stone. Um, that's what this is, right? Yeah, sky stone applied energistics too. That's what I thought. I'm pretty sure that there is a chest in the middle of that. It's just that I can't dig this with a diamond level pickaxe. So yeah, we're going to have to get into that eventually. That's pretty cool. Um, that is a very, very large mountain. Ah. Yeah, we really are going to have to get to mining this. Expose some coal, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, I I'm really sad that we can't dig this yet. We'll have better picks eventually. In fact, as soon as I find a diamond, we'll be turning this baby into an obsidian pick. Which is going to be really convenient. Obsidian picks are fast. What type of tree is this? Can't tell from here. Is that just an oak? Yeah, that's just an oak. It looked like it was kind of a birch type color, but yet birch trees don't grow like that, so it's like, oh, is it a modded tree? But no, it was just a normal oak tree. I cry. Oh, and now it's the other type of mushroom. I, I didn't pick up your brethren because I didn't think I'd find you. Oh. Great choice on when to update water. I was thinking of going in the cave too. Oh well. Well, I think we'll head back now. <clears throat> yeah, so as I mentioned, really guys, let me know like what type of mods to add if I should add some because I'm still iffy about exploring too far away, like, you know, this direction's already, well, it's not out of the question, but like, you know, I already have to go f quite a bit further now, like, you know, past that spiral, spire in that direction to find any new generations or dungeons or anything, so, really guys, if you have any mods you want me to add, let me know, I'm not gonna go crazy and add like, I think I'll limit it to five new ads. I mean, load up mods. Because then that way, you know, we can add new stuff. It'll be pretty cool. And it won't cause too much lag. It'll still probably cause lag when, you know, I'm exploring and recording at the same time. When it's loading in new chunks. But besides that, you know, it should be more than fine. Well, another reason I'm bothered to turn up my render distance just to see how far it can go, because I have a feeling this would look so much cooler if I could actually see all that, is, once again, don't want to load in too much of the world. But yeah, so that's about all for this episode. We got our furnace up and running. We now have an iron pickaxe, which is totally cool. What's that? Why is that on that side? I don't know. But, um, yeah, we might also, I might want to build an iron chest. That might be something that would be nice to do. At the same time, I don't want to waste all my iron. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I'm sad that I uh, smelted it before I built this smeltery because you get double ores when you get it from there well so the two things I, I request that you guys comment is a what trades I should add to the wandering trader and B what um, mods I should add now I am thinking in the future though with custom NPCs I think we'll do kind of like a village like thing you know, like say that'll be my house, but then, you know, one day I build myself a bigger house. I can move an NPC into that building 
and like you know i'll put the type of npc which kind of corresponds with the building so yeah um i don't know what else to say i'm thinking of adding bane miner at some point i don't want to do it until you know i've actually had to go through the hard work of mining quite a bit because it feels cheatish to be able to hold down a button mine a single block and bam my iron pickaxe is mined 2,000 blocks and leveled up twice so i'm like yeah i'm gonna not mess with vein miner quite yet if you know if you guys have like a goal that if i reach we'll get we'll level up like you know something like max out the level of a tool then you can start using vein miner that sort of thing i'd be more than down to give something a shot but i'm rambling at this point so oh whoops that's f2 not f5 i always had it set to f so having it on f5 instead of f is really weird for me what did i have set to? oh right f swap hands Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that actually looks kind of cool okay well thank you all so much for watching and i will see you all in the next episode or the next video that's how i usually do my outro blah bye bye